Welcome to another Profile Tree Wix tutorial. So today we're going to be going through how to create a Wix member login page or pages and add page restrictions to your individual pages. So yes, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're on to the Wix site here. Uh, what I want to do is just grab ourselves a template. So I'm just going to go for a normal template here. Uh, I'll go for the minimal one and we'll wait for this to load and uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a blank page just to start off with. Okay so now that I've got my actual site itself uh, you'll get a selection of menu items and, and tools here to help you out. Uh, all we need to do is go to the pages and menu here and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new blank page. So we've got our home about gallery contact. I wanna create a members page. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a blank page. So now that we have our new page, uh, what I wanna do first of all is add our members login. Uh, so it's fairly easy enough to do. Uh, so as I've mentioned before, our toolbar sort of area, uh, not to get confused with the tools up here. I want to go ahead and go on to the add apps. So this is the Wix app market. Now we'll wait for this to load. And I'm going to go ahead and search up the Wix members login or Wix members area. So there it is there. So I'll just go ahead and click on this. So as it says, it lets visitors form and manage a personal account. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the site. Okay. Uh, and then we'll check it out here. So that should have added it now. Just takes a little minute to load up. So perfect. Now that it's loaded up, what you'll get are the two of the following. You'll get a member profile card along with a login bar on the top. Now, if we ch check our pages and menu, as you can see, we've got member pages and it'll be on my account. Of course, you can drag that onto the new page if you want to. So the way to do that as well is to just, if we'll go back onto the new page, so it automatically adds one for you. Uh, we should be able to add one for ourselves. So let's just say members. And I can go ahead and drag a members page or a member's profile card into the actual page itself. So as you can see. Uh, going back though, we'll go back to the my account and we'll work with this one first. Uh, so we'll just have a quick preview of this. So as you can see, you've got your members menu here. Of course, you've got your profile card there and this is all uh, adjustable. Uh, so you've got my account with all the personal information there as you can see and what's a great of course as I mentioned before is the login bar. Now of course you can see uh, overlapping a little bit so what's good about this is we can go ahead and adjust a few items. So with the layout being to the left we can change that more to that area and then this allows me to move my login bar elsewhere. So now that I've got the login bar here, and then I'll go ahead and do a site preview just to make sure everything's in place. Um, so we've got our profile card, as I've mentioned as well. Of course, we could change that photo. We've got our, um, per se, you know, our logo there for your website. We've got our menu item and we've got our login bar. So they, they are adjustable, as you can see. Uh, so another thing as well is forgot to mention so that's all usable as you can see so from my account and then you can also log out if you need to of course this has to be a working website 
so it has to be published uh, in order for that one to work and you can edit and put your first name phone number or anything like that and assign some badges if you need to and if we go back to editor here um, I'll go ahead and show you how customizable this is oh, just have an issue here with the site go ahead and refresh that so we'll go ahead and have a look at this so starting off with the login bar of course uh, you can go ahead and manage that menu here uh, remove that from the menu add a menu item if you wanted to so that's within just uh, the drop down of course and if we wanted to set up the login uh, we could sh uh, as you can see at the moment it's the avatar of course we could have the avatar and um, have the full name we could just have the name or the initials so that's completely up to yourselves and how you want to view that and then what does uh, the bar say before login and then of, of course that's when you're going to be signing in so you could say sign in and then of course for the logout you could have it where it says uh, logout if you want to or sign out so that easy as well and we can go ahead and change the layout if we want to so we can have no arrow shape for that so just to have a, a clean look for this we can increase the avatar size as you can see we can also align this and by alignment I mean the actual sign out and my account area of course we'll want to center it out and then we can arrange it as well and let's just get that back up to normal so another thing as well is that we could change the design so if I wanted to change the Helvetica font to Comforta regular I can go ahead and do so it makes it uh, more modern I can change the members name so that it has a colored version so it could be color red so if we go ahead and go back to the setup and look at the name uh, it's all in red so there's a couple of design features you could do for that login bar it's completely up to yourself so now uh, as you can see here with the member profile card we can go ahead and change it up a little bit as well so we've got layout there we can sort out your cards to look like this or have it a square so that as you can see change the entire menu or we can have the full width one of course and then we can have the profile image so that's large or if we want it just to be small and uh, the cover size as well to be small and then we can align this if we wanted to now what's great about this is these are all adjustable as well just within setting of course this is where our toolbar kicks in and where we can create some badges and some textile of course uh, if I just wanted to change it to that and if we look back here it changes it to the comfort to regular uh, going on to the members menu here or the my account of course we can manage the text fields as well and this is where you can go ahead and change it about we've got our layout here our design as well of course we can change the textile uh, another easy thing to do if you wanted to change everything just to a specific text we could just go ahead and use the site design and this is where you would go ahead and change everything to comfort regular so I'll go ahead and actually show you that so I'll just skip ahead so as you can see here uh, once I've changed the entire theme for the site I'll go ahead and preview that so that has completely changed the entire member login page for my font and text so it looks a lot better now I'm happy enough with it so that's easily customizable and then of course you can also should be able to manage the fields yep there you go 
and we'll wait for this one to load. Okay, so this is where you can have some text fields, of course. So as you can see here, we have our first name, last name, email, phone, and then you can add a title in if you want to, and a birth date, so something like that. And especially if you have, uh, almost say a, a company website, you can add the position or add custom text fields. So that's dependent on you. So this is what it'll display now since I've added that in. So as you can see, there's a member name with the title and our display information will state uh, the title and then within the account, the first name, last name, email, phone, and a birth date. So when we exit off that, that's what it should say, like so. We'll go ahead and actually increase the length of this so that it is a little bit bigger. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just refresh this. Okay, so now that we have pretty much made the members login page, of course that's up to you on how you want to customize it. Uh, what we want to focus now on is the actual page restrictions. So we'll go ahead and go back to editor and uh, now I'll actually show you why I went ahead and created the new page. And it's not just to add the actual um, area that I did earlier on, uh, which is this here, which is the members widget. So, um, of course you can have some personal things here for members to see or anything that's like um, information sensitive. Uh, the way we can actually restrict pages is if we go to the pages and menu, uh, as you can see, there's three little dots there. You want to go ahead and click on that. And there's a few different areas here. We're just going to go ahead and go to the settings. Uh, of course, it gives us the option to hide from menu, uh, change the name. But we want to go to permissions. Uh, as you can see, it's set to everyone at the moment. You can go ahead and change it to password holders, of course, if you are ch changing a password. Uh, or setting a password you could do so of course i wouldn't recommend to use password uh, or you could switch it to the members only now with the members only here uh, it can be set to all members or only selected members or paying customers now that is what you could do and uh, you can have a couple of rules here as you can see so you can select rules where there's a site collaborator or a collaborate uh, or um, any other rules really or administrator something to do like that uh, you can manage the site members clicking on this as well so this will load up a completely new page and this is the Wix uh, dashboard so I'll wait for that to load okay so as you can see here uh, our site members here is profile tree uh, support at profiletree.com and that's the owner and uh, I can go ahead and switch them up if I need to So going back again, we'll check this out still um, uh, And of course you're unable to do this without the or you can uh, show the pricing plans basically so you can uh, offer some pricing plans as you can see uh, one thing that I actually did forget to tell you is, is so as you can see these member rules uh, as I've said so you can have each collaborator or whoever that you enlist here could be specific to a page so we'll go back to the managed site members I just need to show you guys something so I should have shown you this fully as well so we'll go ahead and just refresh just to get everything going so, uh, as you can see here, there is more actions, and this is where I could do some member privacy as well. So, who can set their profile to public? You can have that as all site members or no one. And uh, who can see public member profiles? Only site members, as you can see. So, you, you could set up privacy through there. And once you're done, of course, then you would hit save. And we'll go back here and then I can also add rules if I wanted to. So rule name, um, 
admin, admin. And I can change the color, as you can see, so I can have that as color red. And I, I can create some more members if I want to. So we'll go back to the area here. So as you can see, there's all members and then I also have an admin one. And then I can set my members here and add people. So I could add myself here as an admin. Uh, of course, if you have more people here, you can add them in. So we'll go back to the site members and you can manage the member rules through there. I, I can add new rules through there as well and set permissions here. And I can do the sign up and login security as well through here. Only ma uh, people I manually approve. There's a recapture as well. And that's all there for you. And for any of those who sign up, um, it'll come up here. So that'll be your pending. And of course, this is where you can have one members that are reported or blocked. And from here as well, you're able to customize information for member profiles. And you're also able to manage some badges. So you can create new badges if you wanted to. So there's one for rising to star and then a couple of colors and icons. So that's just all dependent on you. So yes, that pretty much concludes the tutorial. Uh, that's how you add a members page and add some restrictions. Um, so pretty much just work with it, uh, customize them, see how you get on. If you guys have any questions regarding the video, uh, let us know in the comment section below. And yes, I'll see you for the next one. Thank you very much.